I'm glad you're here. Uh, my name is Megas Mandruk, and we are playing Innovation on this Friday night. And we're going to get started. Here we go. So I changed over to a Yeti mic tonight, so we're going to see if that improves the sound quality. Um, good combination to start here. We'll throw out domestication first. That's close to the alphabet. Clothing, you have to be careful. Um, clothing can run a couple points up on you right away, so we don't want to let him get too many colors up before us. So we'll throw sailing down, and we'll use sailing to draw a meld one. Um, first player gets one axe in the first turn, second player gets two. So at least we're pacing with him, we can keep him from drawing cards, because clothing will let him draw cards for anything on his tableau that we don't have a matching color for. So. I think what we're going to do is try to get mathematics out and play first as early as possible. Um, we may not want to leverage it too soon simply because there's um, he has icons down there that will help him play as well. So since I can see two of the blue cards out, let's take a risk with sailing. Good, that brought purple one out. Um, I'm going to force a Mel. Well, maybe not. He has a two down there. So why don't we just do this? Let's just draw a card right now. Okay, not bad. Not sure what we'll do with the wheel yet, but we'll give it a shot. So welcome aboard. Glad you're here. Happy Friday. It's been a busy week. Weather's gotten a lot better than it was this time last weekend. Um, all right, what should we do next? Let's throw up. Uh, construction because this will let us get a five point achievement because construction gives you the um, empire achievement if you're the only one with five cards on the board so we're gonna we're gonna do the demand because we have more brooks than the other castles <laughs> call them brooks because of chess but because we have more castles that was not only gave us two cards from his hand from our opponent's hand it also gave us the empire achievement so we have a good selection of cards here now we can take advantage of their masonry to get out our wheel if we want to. I am going to pass that up though. I don't really want to cover up my coins. As the game goes on, these coins tend to get more valuable and more powerful, so we don't want to cover them up. Now, when you play this game, as we as you'll see, as we begin to build our tableaus up, one of the key strategies here is to display the cards. If you display it left, you get to show the card on the end or the icon on the end if you display it right you get to show the icons on the left and if you display it, display it up it increases your icons by the three at the bottom so let's see what should we do here um well we can use city states right now because we have the majority of coins to pull some of these castles off of his side Map making doesn't give much of an advantage unless I have single pointers down here, and that's not probably going to happen in this game. Monotheism is a popular counter to shutting down uh, city states, uh, but we might pull road building over. Um, as it is, according to this, we're outnumbered by one, so I really can't use construction this time. Another advantage, though, however, is we can get the jump on the number of on the threes by turning in some of these one pointers so i'm going to turn in those two i'm going to hold on to agriculture that's some good strategy later and then throw in canal building simply because we already have enough coins now this is a pretty good card because if we can get the fifth coin on construction uh, we can get another achievement so i think we'll hold on to that for a little bit so let's try to draw i'm trying to think on threes there i don't think there's a coin on the red but we'll draw a card. So let's see what our opponent will do. <clears throat> so we kind of shut down their ability to use map making. Um, he does have the ability to use road building, which would block my construction and pull um, pull my sailing down on top of his map making. I don't think he's going to do that doesn't give him much of an advantage except for the leaf. He already has a head on leaves. Now we can pull up on leaves by playing agriculture down which will give us a big jump. I don't want to cover up count I don't want to cover up any of the coins though until we can see if we can leverage this third one because optics. If we can get optics in the three pile that'll that'd be a big help to us. So 
So we want to try to draw, we'll see if we can pull optics. Of course, we may find out shortly whether he has already pulled optics on us because one of these two, three pointers he pulled may have been optics. So generally, if you're watching this for the first time, the, the object of the game is to score six achievements. You get them two different ways. You can collect these point cards, which refer to the stages that you're in. Every stage is worth five points. So you get, so after you score five points in your score pile, you can collect achievement one, 10 points for two, and so on and so forth. You draw cards from the stack equal to or greater than the number, the highest number in your tableau. So right now you'll see we could draw twos, but because there are no twos, we would go to threes. Unfortunately, he's pulled all the threes, so let's see what we can get with the fours. So we may have to let translation go by the wayside, which is okay. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so he's going to try to accumulate cards. because Some of the tableaus will let you tuck these cards later or score a lot of them in mass, and we don't really want to give him a chance to do that. Unfortunately, right now, we can't force him to drop any of those cards yet. So let's go the next best route. He's covered up his um, light bulbs. So we'll leverage mathematics. Now mathematics is going to let me trade up and meld. So I'm going to throw out invention. I'll trade up and it gets us astronomy, which is a good card. You can get a universe achievement here if you cover all four piles with sixes. It's a little premature for us to do that right now. So the basic strategy with mathematics is to try to continue to up your cards as far as possible. The only risk you have is if you get a blue card when you meld that upgraded card, it'll cover up your mathematics and bring the progress to a halt. But I think that's the strategy we're going to try to employ right now. Reformation down here will let him tuck a bunch of cards, which will help him build his tableau faster. And he'll be able to splay his yellow or green piles or purple piles. So that's a splay that he did right there. Uh, my opponent did right there. My opponent might be a she. If so, I apologize. Um, so what are we going to do? We'll draw a five. Not too keen on that card. So let's throw it back and we'll you know, bump us up to a six. So far, so good. Now I have two options here. We're ahead on this. We're ahead on the points, so we're we're in a higher number pile. So. We have a little bit of a leeway up here to get some of these higher cards out before our opponent catches up to us. Um, there's really no difference in points. We're just off by two points. Same number of achievements. He did have optics. That was that card he tucked under there. The cool part on Board Game Arena is you can easily see what cards are tucked there. That would have been our ability to get translation. But unfortunately, we weren't able to pull it. So now I have two choices here. One is I can play astronomy, which will melt cards onto my tableau. As long as they're blue or green, I can repeat it. If it's red or yellow, it will stop. Um, but that would f possibly forfeit mathematics eventually. Or I can continue to draw. And I think that's what we'll do right now. Uh, let's play mathematics. We'll trade up vaccination. That gets us to railroad, which unfortunately cancels our astronomy. Now, the nice part with Railroad is, Railroad will allow us to uh, to trade in all these cards, get three six cards, and then splay up anything splayed right. Now, unfortunately, I don't have anything splayed right, so it's not a huge advantage. I'm actually not really happy I don't have anything splayed right now at this point, because we're kind of advancing a little too fast to do that. Um, but I have an idea. Let us throw out agriculture. And the reason I did that is we're going to try to leverage these higher cards to just get jump on the score. So right now he has one and two. So now what I'm going to do is we'll throw, we'll take agriculture. Now this is going to let him trade a five for six. If he chooses to, and he did, and my opponent chose to, if he chose to, but it gives us an eight, and then we can do it again. And the reason we got the extra car is because we shared the dogma, because they have more leaves than I do. But in this case, it's an advantage because while it's giving them points, it's also getting us pretty close. 
And now the nice part here is we have 4 through 7, 10, 13, 15. So I can trade and get these two 8s out if I put Bicycle up. And that might not be a bad idea. Let's make sure you, there's nothing that my opponent can use to steal my cards. So I'm going to throw Bicycle up. And then what I'm going to do, let's see, 20 would drop his score, but 20 would bring my score close. So I'm going to get a chance to trade. And they don't choose to, but we will. We're going to pop the two eights out. That drops all our cards down into the score pile, which has an advantage. And then the idea being that what we'll do next is we'll throw out quantum theory. We'll, yeah. Throw out quantum theory, and then we'll use railroad. We'll see if that helps at all. So, we're going to play that out. Railroad will help us leverage and get this eight back to three other cards. Now, while there's sixes, that's okay because quantum theory is going to let us promote them to tens. So, that, that's our goal here. So, let's see what happens next. Now, we are pretty close to. I kind of left him get ahead on achievements. And we didn't have a chance. That was a good game. Nice first game.